Hello. If you just watched my booktube newbie tag, you realize I'm kind of in the same shirt and look the same. My hair is just slightly less wet. I did not realize how wet it was in the previous video until I was done filming. And as I mentioned at the end of the video, I don't care enough to fix it. So um, this is going to be my summer slash June to be read TBR <laughs> um, video. Uh, I don't like to super plan out what I'm reading, which I mean I might need to adjust to for booktube social standards or quote unquote whatever. Um, but I do know a few books that I'm going to try and read in June slash the summer. I like to read classics in the summer. I always have. I mean, I, I no longer get summer vacation because I'm real working adult, but uh, I am still going to read classics. It's like a time of year thing for me at this point. Um, so I've already started this book technically on Audible. I'm kind of reading it with the book and with the audiobook at the same time, but there's 45 more hours left, so it's going to take me a minute. War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Uh, this is a nice, like, legit fancy version. Also, this cover, this sleeve is pretty, and I like it. So I will be finishing this before the end of the summer, and I can theoretically put the sleeve back on it. Um, War and Peace. I will finish it by the end of the summer. I know War and Peace is one of those books you kind of just read so you can tell people you've read it at parties, but I've had it on my shelf for a while. My parents were trying to sell it and I was at a garage sale and I was like, I'll read this eventually. And now here we are. Um, the other classic I would like to try and read is Louise de la Villiers uh, by Alexandre Dumas. Uh, I really loved Count of Monte Cristo even more than Three Musketeers. I don't know a lot about this book, um, but I'm really excited to read it. And I got it at a like local bookstore or used bookstore, and it's it's like really pretty, and the cover's so soft. I'm very tactile with my books, but I'm very excited to read this. Uh, sort of a classic. I've mentioned before that I love John Steinbeck, so on my summer reading list, which I mentioned in the previous video is the red pony i also have the pearl on my bookshelf and they're both the like novella sized steinbeck books so i will probably read both of them but i'd for sure like to commit to reading the red pony it is the story of a boy who dreamed great dreams of a soul cult that was the focus of those dreams of the land that nourished them and of the mountains that hid their fulfillment seems like a like fun coming of age book um Probably nice in summary almost. Um, no longer classics, and I've mentioned a few of these in the previous one of my previous videos, but I'd like to read Station Eleven. Um, my mother recommended it to me. I don't know a lot about it except for the fact that it's about a pandemic. I probably won't get to this one until July, maybe. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, just because I just finished reading The Stand by Stephen King, and that was enough pandemic for me with the state of the world we're currently in. I also would like to read The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. I don't know a lot about this book. Um, I've loved the other books by Himo that I've read. Uh, and I do hope to be to have the dreamlike and compelling experience that the little quote on the front says. It's kind of the vibe I get from most of his books, but um, I'm very excited. It looks like it takes place in Tokyo and there's a bizarre group of allies and antagonists and like they all have to work together to um, uncover a plot in the netherworld that lies beyond beneath the placid surface of Tokyo. I'm excited to read it. I'm also on my nice and sticker of Kindle here uh, reading currently The Great Hunt book two of the Wheel of Time series. It's very fun. It's all exciting. Um, I'd like to probably, I'm almost done with this book, so I'll probably finish that before the end of May, but I'd like to read as many of the next ones in the series as humanly possible by the end of the summer. <sighs> okay, uh, I had to go fetch some more books, but also this summer, my light just went out. Sorry about that. Um, also this summer, because Doors of Stone, 
sorry, that is the second book in the Name of the Wind series. Third book. I, no, we're going to start over. <sighs> Had to go fetch some more books to talk about that I'm going to read this summer. Um, because The Rhythm of War, the fourth book in the Stormlight Archive, comes out in early September, or at some point in September, I am planning on restarting the Storm Light Archive. <laughs> it's very difficult to hold all these books. Um, in mid-July. That way, that'll probably give me enough time to read... And like leisurely read and possibly even annotate these three books as I reread them in time for the fourth book to come out. I will also be reading book two and a half, which is the Edge Dancer novella. I've also already read this one. It was very good. It really helped to build out Lyft's character because there was, it was, she was a very un mysterious, like you don't know a lot about her. This was very helpful. Um, she's one of the Knights Radiant, sort of. She still has to talk about her things but uh, <laughs> I also in the Brandon Sanderson universe will be reading Elantris when it arrives at my house probably early June I ordered Arcanum Unbounded and the Mistborn companion novella as well I cannot remember what that one is to save my life maybe I'll be creative with my video editing and put the name of it up here some at some point but I have a I was inadvertently participating in the Cosmere long without even realizing it. So these awesome gigantic books are on my TBR to reread the summer as well. I will probably do some wrap ups and things intermittently throughout the summer about the books that I'm reading and maybe even book specific ones. I've never really done a book review before ever, but maybe I will get around to doing one and being cool on booktube. Well, that is my loose summer TBR at this point. I should be able to read all of those books. I hope. Thank you. Have, hope everyone has a great day and is staying as safe and away from people as humanly possible.